Hey, Perry Peacock here with Wilderness Innovation. And uh, I wanted to show a little uh, something trying to illustrate uh, answers to questions for people about our uh, personal survival blanket series and a little bit about how they work. A lot of people want to know, but they want to know, since I get all the way inside of there, how, um, how does it work when I'm all the way inside, my head's inside and everything, how does it not get all soaking wet and drippy inside of here. So I just wanted to show you a little demonstration that just kind of shows uh, somewhat how that works. <coughs> to, de to demonstrate how this, uh, how it works, I'm going to use this um, section of, uh, of sample blanket material made exactly like a regular blanket, uh, all, the, all the same materials, just smaller. So I'm going to use that. And then I've taken one of my uh, one of my water heaters that I made out of a zebra pot, and I've modified this on the lid right here so I can put out um, <clears throat> so I can put out steam. And I'm going to put this on a stove, and I'm going to use a, a piece of tubing that takes this into a little chamber that I that I rigged up. Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is this uh, plastic bucket, and this bucket is to be a chamber or to simulate uh, the atmosphere when you're laying all the way inside of a blanket. So this moisture will be inside of here. And this is uh, a piece of hose or tubing used to bring the steam, the moist air from the pot. And I've just drilled a little hole in the bottom here. So that hose can go into there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to place the blanket fabric over top of this bucket, our, our chamber, and then I'm going to place, this is just some uh, aluminum tent tubing. This is just to be a spacer, basically. Now the next thing, I've got a piece of glass from an old uh, window. That's going to get laid on top of there. So what we're going to observe is moisture coming into here. We're going to observe whether that passes through the blanket material to the glass. The glass uh, will show that, would show that the uh, moisture is condensing coming through the chamber here. Another thing I'm going to use here is this uh, in-out thermometer. And uh, so I'm going to drop the probe in probe end of this down into the bucket just a just a, a few inches below the top of the bucket once I put it once I put the blanket on top of there so I can monitor the temperature in here I want it to be as close to body temperature as I can although I'm not going to be able to do that uh, I'm going to be I'm going to be a little higher but I want to get as close as I can to it all right I'm going to use this old junker propane camp stove here I light that up, and I'm going to place my I'm going to place my pot on there. All right, there's steam coming out of the out of the tube right here. I'm going to plug this hose onto there. Okay, see so we've got a good flow of steam coming out of here. So I'm going to plug this into the bucket. And, uh, and then I'm going to turn the steam down as low as I can because this is way, way more steam in your, this is way more moisture in your body is going to have. So, all right, I've got my, I've got my, every, my uh, chamber covered here. My, sen my temperature sensor is inside and we're sitting here about 85 degrees. And uh, as it gets up here a little bit, I'm going to try to hold it around 100 degrees if I can. And the next thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to take this uh, piece of glass here and set it up on top of this little standoff frame here. This is allowing air to circulate underneath here a little bit <coughs> and uh, to, let, to let there be a little bit of air flow so that we can actually have something happening here. As if you're laying in there, the air wind or breeze blowing around you or whatever 
is going to be on the surface here, so I want to let the air flow a little bit. So now we see we're already getting, getting moisture coming up through here, fogging the glass a little bit. So you can see even though, even though my, my steam flow is way, way down, I'm still passing moisture through there very easily. And uh, my temperature inside isn't even, it's only 98 degrees right now. So it's, I don't have any powerful thing driving anything through here. And you see it's fogging pretty nicely now. All right, so our temperature's gone down a little bit too much. I boosted it up just a little bit. I'm trying to hold it 99, 100 degrees or somewhere as close as I can in there. So you know, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to simulate as close to a body temperature as possible. All right, so you can see that the moisture is condensing on the glass. I've got a, a, a jug here that's got about four pounds of dry ice in it. So I'm going to try to pour some, some of the cold air off that dry ice over here just to show you a little more of the condensing that's going on. The problem trying to simulate this is that the glass actually warms up from the heat of the moisture underneath and everything coming through. So I have to do a little bit of this to simulate more of an outdoor condition where you've got uh, colder air surrounding uh, your body laying inside the blanket. So you can see right here the, the moisture on the glass and uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty fogged over right now. There's a lot of moisture passing through. Uh, my temperature inside the chamber is, is about 103 degrees right now. Okay, so now if I tilt the glass up, you can see that it's pretty, a lot of moisture in there on that glass. And that's all come through the blanket very easily. There's no pressure. It's just, uh, it's just flowing through. All right. Now, there is a little bit of dampness here. And it's, it's really impossible to, but as you can see, I mean, it's not like, it's not soaking wet or anything like that. In fact, if I were to take this thing like this and try to, now I've, I've put almost two quarts of water into here during this test. So, see if we can, I can't even, there's not even, there's just nothing there. There's a little bit of surface moisture here which is kind of a false indication. You never see that, you never see that when you're sleeping inside the blanket because to make this work, I've got, to, I've got to pump a lot more for you even to be able to see it than what your body's putting out. So I'm, you know, like I say, through this right here, I've pumped, I have pumped, two, I have pumped two quarts of steam into here and up in through here. And this thing has not, it's not absorbed any of it. I can't, there's nothing I can squeeze out of there. So even though this, this is, this is way more than you're going to get from your body. Um, it still, you know, it just illustrates how breathable everything is, that everything comes right out of it. So anyway, this is my attempt to try to show what's happening with the incident moisture that your body gives off, your breathing, that sort of thing. You know, I'm not breathing, I'm not breathing enough, nothing like, nothing like what we're getting in this chamber at all, but I, I've been trying to, to scale it down and down and down to try to get as close as I can to a human body type effect and I haven't, I haven't succeeded yet because <laughs> I'm like I, like I said, I'm put it, I put two quarts of water through here and, and this blanket, I can't even wring a drop out of it. So it all, it all came through and it all dissipated and that's what happens. 
but you're not giving off anywhere near that kind of moisture. In fact, let me show you when I, I'm going to lift this thing up, I'm going to move the camera up here, I'll lift this thing up so you can see how much moisture is inside of here. I mean, it's way, way more than you're going to have just with your body in there. Okay, there's how much steam vapor's in there. I mean, you can just see that stuff raising up out of here. Way, way more than you're going to have just incidental uh, when you're inside of a blanket. Even with all that, this thing still worked great. And, uh, and like I say, I know it works. I've been using this kind of setup since uh, for 30-something years, the mid, <laughs> almost 40 years, I guess. The, the early 1980s, I've been doing this. I know, I know what happens physically inside of there. I'm trying to illustrate for you, some way, sort of, what, how this thing works. And so this is, the main point I'm trying to make is, this thing is so breathable, your moisture just, the moisture in there just wants to go out. And, uh, and you see, there's just a, there is a tiny, a tiny film on here. But when you, you know, you see how much moisture is in here, it's insane. <laughs> so uh, it's way more. I haven't been able, I have, I've tried and tried, I haven't been able to cut it down enough to be, uh, to simulate what your body gives off yet. But that's the closest I've come. Okay, what happens, but the real test is if you get out there, you try it yourself and you see what really, you really see what does happen and you see how great this stuff is. Anyway, Perry Peacock, you know, doing a little inside work today, but I'll be back outside shortly and uh, show you some more fun stuff. Take care. See you on the next go-round.